Hey guys, it's a girl Nika here. Guys, I first want to take this moment to apologize first. And on doing so, I want to approach two things that draw my attention today. First, I want to begin with the more public side of it. And then I will share with you the most, the more private part of it. So we're going to begin, okay? I I show some of y'all, I want y'all to see, recognize this, okay? Yes, it's a group, Nika Video Entertainment Group. It was created by me. It was created in the time of the first wave of the pandemic. Okay, let's look. In May, oops, oh, look at the date there. Okay, and those thumbs up you see, it's like the request I sent out for my friends and people on this, on my Facebook to join in this group. This group was personally created um, with the idea of a friend because when I started my YouTube in March last year, it was the first wave of the pandemic. When I first started my YouTube channel, I created this um, about a month or two after I created this group. Why I created it is because some of my friends was like, when I post my YouTube videos, it's like, oh, I haven't seen this. I haven't. Yeah, when did you do that? You know, and everybody was like, lost. Okay. So a friend draw idea to me, Nika, why don't you just create a group and then when you set it out we all gonna see your videos on them and that way we're gonna keep track of what we see I was like that's a good idea so this is what as you can see Nika sorry entertainment video so that's what it this was created for but as you could see since I created this this has been no activity done whatsoever through this group okay I want to I want to go here because I want to show you like conversation videos everything if you read here it says my media photos video everything will be sent here there was no activity at all through this group have I sent out for any one of you guys so today my attention was drawn by a first friend we were talking and he's like Anika what did you send to me I was like what did I send to you I'm confused because the only place I pay I post it's on YouTube um, Facebook and my whatsapp I send my videos my YouTube videos out there so everybody in my contact view would get a um, would see what I post okay I, I forgot I created this group for that purpose. I swear to you, as you can see, no activity. No activity. If you look closely, those is probably who names um I sent it out to and they accept it. Okay? So that is what been going on in this group. So I just want to make this clear here. The Nika Entertainment Group since in May the 29th, as I show you the date, I created this this group. I never one day did an activity public for anybody. Never. I swear to you, I forgot I created this group. So I want to take this time to apologize. I just realized um, some of you all receiving some inappropriate link that was sent um, from me. It's not me. I don't know who sent it. There was no activity done personally from me so i just want to make that clear out there to any one of you all if you all receive something like that ignore it throw it away wash it away pray for on it for me because your girl nika if you know me that's not my style i don't do that so i just wanted to clear the air there so if again you guys i repeat receive anything from nika entertainment room inappropriately it's not me I have two channels. I do my entertainment, my fashion, and my little laugh out, and my cook channel. If you get those, those are me. Okay? And if I want to say something, and I think I'm going to come more on the on live more, if I do something or I put out something there, I will let you all know. But until so, I do not engage in such inappropriate um, manner. Okay, I don't do those things. So again, I want to apologize. 
So the second thing I want to talk to you guys about there, um, I want to show you guys something, okay? Today, there was a sort of a, um, scam, fraud, happened with my account, okay? I just want to show you guys as we go through it. I was at work today, okay? I want to make sure you all seen clear. I don't know if you all seeing. Hold on, stay with me, stay with me. Okay, yes. So you see, the sender, a sum of $1,900 was sent to Anika. That's e-transfer, right? To By Anika, okay? I'm in work, okay? I'm not sending no money from my account to me or anybody, period, okay? So that time was February. That was yesterday, February the 25th. I want you all to see the time. Keep in mind we're looking at this, okay? Transfer. Then we're going to go up. They try again. I want you all to read to see. So the person, yes, they get a hold of my account. They do some e-transfer from me to me. Make it look like it's me. We're going to go here again. Then they go again with another sum of a lesser amount. Okay? They send from me to me. Okay. Take perhaps, okay, stay with me. They send me the money, right? So I now have to deposit it. Say I choose Scotia Bank, right? Look, what does it say? I want you to read. Okay? This is what it said. The interior charger has been sorry, we are unable to process your request because it's been deposited. So today, back to back to back, I get tick 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 tick. These messages come into my inbox. When I'm looking now, I'm like, wait. But I'm not doing nothing. I'm in work here. I was talking to the physiotherapist. We were having a conversation. And the alert on my phone had me open up quickly. Like, what is all these activities going on? And I'm right here. So I do have online banking. So I go online. And I can't show you guys online now because they, my account is freeze. They froze it. Okay? So... That information, if I try to lock in, it's not going to, it locked me out. So, um, I am online now watching my phone. Then I see a, a sum of balance remaining there in my account. Then by the time I'm here showing my phone to my client, what is going on? The money swiping going. It just keep going. Keep going out my account today. Back to back to back to back. So I'm telling you, so I grab my phone fast. I lock out quick. I grab my phone and I call my bank right away. And I said to them, please help me. What is going on? I have my phone right now. I'm not sending any money for nobody. But I just see my money just coming out of my account just like this. Something is going on. So she get on the line quick with me. She lock it out. And she was watching what's going on. She confessed. Fraud is real. It's out there. Okay. And it could happen to me. It could happen to you. It could happen to a lot of us out there. So I'm just showing put it, showing you guys to be careful. Take caution. Be careful with your online banking. Every month is good if you could go in, change your password, uh, make it a little more technical, complicate it a little bit. I know there's so much password for everything you have. It's hard to keep up. But try to make it as complicated as possible as you can. When you're going online, be careful where you're opening your phone. If you use phone a lot like me to do online, be careful where you open it. Be careful who you are wrong. Don't trust your friend. Don't trust your family. Okay? I'm telling you guys. Because it could happen to me. It could be happen to you. And I sit down today watching my money sweep out my account before my eye without I doing any sort of hands in such of a... in this. So... It was heartbreaking for me today. I was in work. I had to keep it together. But I was so happy. In a way, I had online banking and I was alerted right away. So I could have called the bank and like let them block or stop so far before they wipe off everything I have left. So 
they give me 10 days they're going to um, investigate and like everything and then get back to me and i'm going to know where i stand so yes i'm not a i'm not a millionaire i haven't won the lottery yet guys so whoever it is out there okay i'm letting you know i don't have money okay and whatever little you guys take that is all i have there is no more okay so the time you take to attack somebody or to do such mischievous sort of a thing, you should actually use that focus or use that sort of um, that sort of technique or I don't know what to call it that you have or you use to do something more constructive with your time. Okay, try to attack the bank. There's where the money is. Don't go and poor people like myself and other people out there. Okay. So, you scammers, you frauders out there, please use your time wisely and do something more constructive with yourself. Yeah. So, until then, I will give you guys update what's going on with my account, the money and everything. But for now, please guys, take precaution. Be aware. Check in regular in your account. Don't open your phone or your laptops, wherever, any and anywhere. Keep checking in regularly. Okay, because again, this could happen to me, it could happen to you. I'm just aware you guys out there of what's going on. Okay, so until now, until then, we will talk. So please guys, share my videos and make other people aware, okay, that shit is real. It is real.